Renowned within audio circles for excellent quality, Klipsch has done it again with a fantastic new addition to their subwoofer lineup with the new R121 SW. Klipsch is known for making exceptionally well-made speakers since 1946. I recently upgraded my Polk speakers to all Klipsch speakers but held out on a subwoofer because I wanted to do some extra research. Knowing I was in the market to upgrade, Klipsch sent me their new R121 SW. The 121 features highlights such as a 200 watt all digital amplifier, a 12 inch front firing copper spun woofer, gain control, low pass crossover controller, and a phase controller, alongside RCA LFE inputs. It's a ported box with the hole in the rear of the unit. It's finished off with a scratch-resistant, textured wood grain vinyl with a small LED light in the front to let you know when it's powered on. A link to the detailed spec sheet is in the description below. One of the nice things about this Klipsch subwoofer over my old Polk ones are the materials it's made out of. I had two Polk PSW10s and I didn't think they were all that bad for what I paid for them. When I bought them, the PSW10 was actually rated very highly when compared to other entry-level subwoofers. It's constructed very nicely, and for the price, it produces some great bass. However, you do get what you pay for here. While my old Polk subwoofers did an adequate job at reproducing bass, the new Klipsch one has been doing a superb job and reproduces much more powerful bass than both of my old PSW10s combined. The woofer cone on the R21 is lightweight but rigid. This provides fantastic low frequency response with minimal breakup and distortion. There is such a level of efficiency and a real feeling of premium sound when I paired this new subwoofer with my Klipsch speakers that have the Tractrix horn loaded tweeters. The frequency response range go from 28 Hz all the way up to 120. The 3 quarters inch MDF material construction reduces cabinet vibration for less audible coloration and better sonic accuracy according to Klipsch. And comparing between this one and my Polk subwoofers, I'd have to agree. The R121 subwoofer enclosure utilizes a bass reflex design with a rear firing port for big bass. Like any electronic device, there is no magic setting to make this thing sound good. If you do get it, you'll need to mess around with the settings on the subwoofer, settings on the audio receiver, mess around with the placement in your room it'll be in, and try to sound insulate the room as best as possible so sound isn't bouncing around everywhere and canceling or trapping sound. Coming in at $600, it's not cheap. But remember, it's the quality of Klipsch you're getting here. I would venture to say that Klipsch has the most loyal customers in the audio world. There are quite a few Facebook groups and Reddit threads dedicated to Klipsch fanatics exchanging notes, comparing speakers, and showing off their setups. And speaking of showing off, be sure to check out this video I made with THX on tips on how to show off your speaker system. The R121 SW is a worthy addition to the Klipsch line of subwoofers and will greatly complement your speaker system no matter what brand of speakers you end up going with.